Hello everybody, this is Jamie J, and I'm going to be using the uh, December 2010 release of the Unreal Development Kit to show you how to import your weapon into a UDK. So first of all, we're going to go to the content browser, which is this icon right here, and we're going to see all this crazy stuff, and we're not going to deal with it. What we're going to do is we're going to import a new package. And our package is going to be what Matt had prepared in the previous tutorial of how to set up your gun. So we're going to use his PSK mesh that he had created. We're going to hit open. And the name of our package is going to be WP underscore uh, W er, Hellraiser because that is the name of our gun. And it's going to be under group mesh. And the name of our mesh is going to be SK underscore WP underscore Razor. First person. One P. Because we're going to need a first person and a third person model for this gun. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to import it again for our third person version. And it's going to be SK, WP, Hellraiser, 3P. And all right. Now we have our gun models that were created, imported into our package. But all they are is this sort of boring blue and white square thing. So we need to create a material. And in order to create our material, we need textures. So now we're going to import the textures. For now, we have a bunch of uh, Targas because you can only really um, upload bitmaps and all these things and Targas for your uh, texture files. So we're just going to select the Diffuse and the Normal right now and import both of them. And they're going to go in the same WP underscore Hellraiser package and the group name is going to be Texture. And the name for the first one is our diffuse, so we're going to name it T underscore WP gun or Hellraiser diffuse. And another important thing about this is that you want to go to the LOD group for level of detail. And it's right here, and you're going to find texture group weapon or texture group underscore weapon. And that's what we will be using for the diffuse. And we'll hit OK. If you don't do that, you'll find some difficulties later when trying to see the texture on your weapon. The next one that just came up is our normal, and we are going to name it P underscore WP underscore Hellraiser Norm. And for the level of detail group, we're going to use the normal map. We're going to hit OK, and that will have both our normal and our diffuse up. So, now in our file we have the two meshes, first person, third person, and our diffuse and normal map. But we can't apply the textures directly to these message, me meshes. We need to take, we need to make a material. So we are going to right click in this area right here to bring up this and find new material. It's going to be under the same material or same package as Hellraiser. The name for our group will be Mesh, and this will be called MWP Hellraiser. Okay. And so that will bring up this Kismet S window, I suppose. And we're going to control click to navigate through this area. And we're going to find under Texture, Texture Sample. And so we click and drag Texture Sample into this area. Click and, or control click in order to move it around. We're going to bring out two of them, one for the normal and one for the diffuse. So to get our diffuse and normal map into these texture sample boxes, we're going to go into our gun, textures, we're going to click diffuse. With that selected, we go back into our material editor and you're going to see this little green arrow right down here and you're going to click it and it'll bring the selected or the selected texture into this texture sample. We're going to do the same thing for normal map. 
we're going to hit the green arrow in our normal map right there. So now you will see a little black tiny box from the left side of your texture sample and we're going to click that and drag on over to the fuse. Then we're going to click on the texture sample box for the normal and we're going to click and drag it over to the normal. And now you can see in here that we have our normal and diffuse on top of this material. So we're going to check to save. We're going to compile those. And we can close that now. So now we have our first person weapon. The mesh just loaded. And we're going to put all of the materials on to this first person weapon. Because right now, as you can see, it has no materials on it. So again, make that smaller. We're going to select the material in the content browser. We're going to go back to this window, and under this properties window in the bottom left side, you will see all these slots under skeletal mesh for materials. Now, this particular model has six slots labeled zero through five, and we are going to have to load all of them because if we just load into slot zero only part of our gun is textured. So depending on your model you'll have a varying amount of uh, slots. But once you click all of them your weapon should be completely covered. And so we're good there. So now that your gun is textured with the material you want to add socket to it. Now you'll see this middle window right here, the skeleton tree. Matt from the previous uh, tutorial had named all of the bones in our model so they can be easily um, added to sockets. And sockets are things that UT3 or Unreal uses to uh, decide where the fire comes out of or the character holds the gun. So we're going to go to mesh up here and we're going to go down to the socket manager. And we're going to create a new socket. And we're going to select the muzzle flash bone. And we're going to name this socket Muzzle Flash Socket. The original, right? We're going to hit OK. Now, because this is also our primary fire, we're going to select Muzzle Flash again and name it MS. Now, these are useful for uh, scripting in the later tutorials that Terrence will be showing you. And so our sockets are set up, and now we're ready to get an animation on our gun because right now it doesn't have one, and that's sad. So, we're going to go File, Import, PSA. Now, because Matt had saved out... Oh, yes, we can't do that just yet. We're going to go back into our content browser. We're going to right-click in here. And we're going to find New Anim Set, because you need to do that. The name of the group is going to be Anim. And the name for ours is going to be K underscore WP Hellraiser and that's that. Okay. And now we're going to see this window with flag thing. It's not our gun, but have no fear. We are going to set it up. We're going to go under skeletal mesh and find our Hellraiser first person model. And so it's going to be right there. And now we're going to go to file, import PSA. And so here's our PSA that was saved out from the uh, ActiveX add-on that Matt used in the previous tutorial. Open. And to view our animation, you can hit this little play button right here. Or, with the anim tab selected, with the weapon fire, you can view this animation. Now, the ActiveX add-on allows you to do several animations from frame to frame, but we just have one, so this is all we get to see. But it's still cool. So, we're almost done, but not quite. We still have one thing left to do, and that is save. So we're going to save our weapon into the weapons folder under our UDK, and we're going to save it with the rest of the UDK weapons. So it'll compress that, and now, whenever you're using the Unreal Editor, you will find your gun under the guns folder.
with all the animation set, the materials, and your textures. Now, you would also want to apply your material to your third person and set up the sockets there too. And it takes some time. But anyway, now when we go up to weapons, we will see Hellraiser right there with all of our stuff. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Jamie J out.